Reagan, Zach, and Oliver are three Westwood students who also work at the local Friendly Mart. And when they're not working or attending school, they like to steal movies from the Friendly Mart DVD section. This is the story of what happens when these three friends get together to talk about menial topics. Ooh, can't believe I had to work the late shift at Friendly Mart. Luckily, I did steal this Space Jam 2 copy from the DVD section. You know, Oliver, you don't have to steal movies anymore. Because we can just pay for them, monthly. With streaming services. Friendly Mart isn't you anymore, and that's why you made Bodu. Well, oh, yeah. That's why the, the executives of Friendly Mart made Bodu, because they just want to host all the movies that we end up stealing to review. But how do you think it stacks up against all the other uh, services? Well, I'm glad you asked, Reagan. Luckily, I have my own ranked list right there on the floor. Oh, so did I. I don't know why it was a problem. Why do I have this? <laughs> why is it so small? <laughs> Season two, a new season, a new start, and uh, recently all three of us got jobs at the Friendly Mart, um, so we're going to shoehorn in a story that no one will really care about, but it's interesting to make nonetheless. We all know streaming services, they're festering. So many of them. It's going to be kind of a very different ranking um, for each of us because we all use different streaming services. I know Reagan has listed like music services and game services. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. So, Reagan, why don't you start us off with your ranking? All right, we're gonna go from best to worst. On the best, I said YouTube Premium. I, I think... I think the dog agrees with you. <laughs> <laughs> removing ads, that's a good thing, right? Obviously. But also being able to like, use it as like a music app. It like kind of covers a lot of ground for like songs that aren't on Spotify, which on its own is like pretty good. I, I have Spotify at number two. Um, I, okay, so YouTube Premium, that's a different thing from YouTube Red, right? Yes. YouTube Red is gone now. But on number two, we've got Spotify, a good service. What more can I say? Number three, we've got Netflix. Yeah, um, I'd, I'd say I'd agree with that. It used to be number one. But it's not really its fault that like a lot of its stuff left because other companies made their own services. Yeah, that that is uh, that is true. And their original series are always either really good or really bad. I agree. The Netflix original. Oh come on, Zach. Do you not want to watch Q Force? Oh, I love that one. <laughs> Neg uh, Netflix original shows are usually good. I don't really know about the movies, but yeah. the shows I think of. Even if they're bad, like they're generally pretty high quality. Well, for number. four... Four through six, it's kind of the same thing. They're all like manga services, but hear me out. It's just like unlimited, like Shonen Jump chapters. I'm not gonna get into these. I'm gonna skip seven and eight because they are honorable mentions. So I guess the real number seven is like. This is your worst, or it's oh, just in the middle. It's just it's like okay. in the middle. Yeah. It's crunchy roll. I'm one of those. <laughs> I'm one of those scum. Number 10, this is a video game service, Nintendo Switch Online, a, oh. a really divisive one. He agrees. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. There is, for, for like $4 a month, it's like... It's more just a paywall than anything. That is, yeah, that's the argument a lot. It, I would say yes, it is just a paywall with like some things tagged on. Yeah. But at that point, like the tag of like, Retro games is becoming like way too good a value for like four dollars a month to the point where all the retro games being added to Nintendo Switch are online are just like garbage. I'm convinced they're <laughs> they're making these from scratch. Yeah, and they're and pretending, nobody, nobody knows. And they're, they're pretending like, oh, yeah, they were released old. back in the day. <laughs> Number eleven, we got Disney Plus again, like just one I hardly use. Number twelve, again one that I hardly use, but I have it. Not really though, is PlayStation Plus. And then number 13, we got Funimation Now. Oh. 
good good stuff on there, but I absolutely despise the quality on both my phone and my computer are just destroyed whenever I try to watch. What if, what about you, Zach, and your comically small <laughs> paper? I don't know, I think it's the perfect size. My list is pretty small. Uh, number one, YouTube, obvious. I use it literally daily, like no joke, every single day. Uh, it's a really good site for videos, it's just the site's also really bad. Number two, Netflix. It's it's pretty good. A lot of it stuff's being taken away, which sucks, and you have to use like a VPN to access Yeah, Zach is really pissed off that they got rid of Friends. Yeah, my favorite show ever, guys. I mean, come on. <laughs> He's really upset that they yeah. got rid of He punched my wall. I don't know. There's like a hole over there. Yeah. He got so hey, angry. Check him up on screen right now. Yeah. He's so angry. And then when he found out that they got rid of the office, he punched another hole. And now my wall, my wall is filled with holes, and now rain gets in, and so That's overall. an inside wall. How does rain get in? Uh, number three, Hulu. Uh, I watch TV shows more than I do movies, and Hulu's pretty good. It doesn't have everything, and it's kind of late on shows, but... It's four would be Disney+. Plus. I don't, I'm not a big Marvel fan. Uh, oh, that's been well established. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was this one time I was in a movie theater, and we were eating popcorn, and we, we were watching... I think it was... No. <sighs> It was like Batman, <laughs> like some Batman movie. Or something. Help! <laughs> You're the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so we were watching ba some Batman movie. I think it was like, uh, any anyway, we were eating popcorn and my lips started to swell up because I was. <laughs> You've popcorn. told this story on the podcast before. <laughs> Number five, uh, Amazon Prime. It's kind of my pseudo favorite, but not really, because why is it placed so low? Well. Because the stuff in there is pseudo just, favorite. Yeah, <laughs> number five. Well, no, that's what it. What, I, what I'm trying to say. It's not objectively the best, cause, but I love it because it's so bad. Oh, <laughs> There's just how is it bad? Because love... they have a lot of good movies on there, but every single time you get a movie, it costs money. Like not every single time, but a lot of times movies cost money. So then, does it really constitute as 100% streaming if you don't have Prime? And then. There's like a really weird stuff in there too. So if yeah, you know, like episodes of the Angry Video Game are yeah. watchable on Amazon. So oh, I didn't know the it. number one strategy if you're trying to find something without going onto a pirating site, if you can't find it anywhere else, just go to Amazon Prime. It'll probably be there for like ten bucks or well, less. Hold on, I don't see how you can like something. Like I can see, I can understand like liking like a so bad it's good movie. Well, that's how it is. There's like. But, like, it, Jesus, he lives among us <laughs> next to, like, a taxi driver. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. I know that's what you can maybe, like, Amazon... I like, see what he means. It's, it's like... But, like, why would you like a, a bad streaming service that is draining your money and just being bad? Well, it's like... I mean, it, he it's does... It's like you I like... Mean, it's, like it's, funny. it's like how someone likes the YouTube recommendations, where it's like, some of them are so bad that yeah, you have to laugh. Yeah, but YouTube recommendations yeah. don't drain your... Your wallet, ever. I guess. Month. I mean, but you don't have to buy this stuff at Amazon. That is true. Yeah. Puts, but he says he, he likes it and he clearly uses it because it's on his list. Yeah. Okay. I, I just like it even though it's bad. I guess Zach is rich and he, he can afford to. You <laughs> can watch his Jesus Walks Among Us. Yeah, every single month. <laughs> below, even like below Amazon Prime, you like the chaos, you got Apple TV. <laughs> Never once has anybody on this planet wanted to watch something on Apple Are TV. Are you kidding me? Never. Everybody loves Ted Lasso. No, nobody's ever wanted to watch anything on there. What is Ted Lasso? And that's the problem. You can't have a streaming service if nobody uses it. That's the only problem with it. Otherwise, it'd be great, but there's just nothing on there. They promise you stuff, but if you were to actually buy it, which nobody has, let me tell you, it's just a blank screen. It's just they get oh money God. from you for free. Apple I'm TV. Sorry that Apple. I know. I feel like Apple TV would have done so good if it came free with all iPhones. Yeah. Or but, or a Apple TVs, which I don't have, but those are actually a thing, like an actual Apple TV. Mm -hmm. Like if they just come free, if you didn't have to buy an extra subscription, that they would have done so well. But. I mean, I know they're not like, and I, I doubt it's like flopping, but certainly less people watch it than they probably expected. <laughs> and like, I think you can also rent stuff from Apple TV. Like I know you can get movies on there, like no, renting, renting like movies that weren't specifically made for it. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know, why would you use that when you could just use Amazon? Some people do it because they don't like Amazon or who, because you know, of Jeff Bezos and stuff. That but that, that's literally pointless. You're just giving money to an even bigger company. <laughs> what are True. you doing? Me giving my, my money to Mega Corporation too because I don't <laughs> like Mega Corporation. 
<laughs> it's probably going to the same guy anyway. It doesn't even yeah. matter. They have like the Jason Momoa C thing. The or, what? The fantasy thing. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a thing apparently. <laughs> And, uh, I mean, they have all the Snoopy content. Oh. <laughs> it's got it covered. Here's the thing. They could have the greatest shows ever made on Apple TV, but nobody would ever know because nobody uses it. They're also <laughs> making the new Martin Scorsese movie. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Just very, like, important filmmakers, Zach. Well, Zach loves Marvel movies, so he doesn't <laughs> yeah, like Martin oh, Scorsese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he wouldn't he wouldn't like and or know who Martin's good. You'd just be like, I know that name. You say Marvel. Yeah, hey, Marvel. Apple I literally like invented a fake person and make movies for their fake. Services. Are you that uneducated that you have never heard the name Martin Scorsese in your life? Yes, because he doesn't exist. You guys are all getting brainwashed by Apple. Okay, and then at the very very bottom, which you probably thought Apple TV was. The you bottom. wait. You just mentioned Taxi Driver, like five minutes ago when talking about Jesus <laughs> watched okay. the manga. Okay. He's the guy who made Taxi Driver! Oh. <laughs> anyway! At the very bottom, which I didn't even know was possible to, be, uh, to go lower than Apple TV, you got a... God rest his soul. Quibi. Did you have Quibi? No, it's just, oh. a, it's just a joke entry. But, to make fun of it, for the next 15 minutes, this entire podcast is going to be filmed vertically. Yeah. So, Zach, why'd you rank Quibi so low? I mean, it's dead. It's, it's pointless. Gone. It's it's literally just like, like, I'm pretty sure the the whole deal with Quibi was that it's like, quick bites. Quibi? Yeah. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, I didn't know this one. Oh. It's stupid. Yeah. But anyways... That's that's what they're doing it as, and it's just supposed to be like if you're working a job, you or like you're on a commute or something. If you're on, yeah, if yeah, you're, yeah, if you're on a subway. And you if need to you're watch on, if you're, if which you when time, it debuted, like it was during COVID, so nobody was going out, yeah. and doing yeah. stuff. So it was like and there's no. If reason. it came out after and, that, and news and report: car crashes go up fifty five percent because of people <laughs> watching stuff on Quibi. Yeah, people are too busy watching Chrissy's Court to uh, <laughs> who? <laughs> pay attention um, to the road. There is they used it as like a marketing thing to be like you could watch things vertically, but it's like I don't, I don't care. Right, why would you watch things vertically? Like. That's like the cardinal sin of yeah. filming. They had no engaging content that people wanted to watch. It was all original content, and it was all stuff, like, you need to... Yeah, it was... You can have, like, Netflix, again, it's a thing that has original content, but you need stuff, like, that'll get people there in the first... It kind you of need, stuff. also, you need IPs, like, you need something, something that people will want to watch. Alright, well, we're gonna go back to talking about actually normal streaming services now, so why don't we, uh, bring the cameras back. Well, I didn't originally write YouTube, but I think that might be my number one. It's obviously the one I use the most often. Um, I obviously like uploading these videos. I have to put them on YouTube. I wish it wasn't such a flawed app. Like there are so many problems with YouTube, like the annoying ads. Recently, a lot of YouTubers I watch have been saying, watch my uncut videos on Nebula, where YouTubers can upload like ad free and like longer videos with like I guess material that YouTube doesn't want them to include like copyrighted music and stuff. Oh uh, that's like story Nebula. fire. So in the end I'm gonna have to tie YouTube with Amazon because I think they're both things that I use a lot. I probably use Amazon more than any other streaming service. What are you smiling <laughs> the about? Demons coming. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of as someone who likes to watch like older movies and stuff they have a great library, and I, I mean, a lot of that you have to rent, but at the same time, they have a lot of good stuff that's free, too. I wish their presentation was a little better. Like, a lot of times, like, it feels like my button presses aren't doing anything. And, uh... Are you five? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, number three, I put Apple Music, um, which... <laughs> <laughs> I expect Zach to go I forgot to say my last point, which is that Spotify is better than Apple Music, but go on, go on. I don't like Spotify. Aesthetic. Uh, then third, I would put HBO Max. Uh, well, okay, maybe Netflix would be higher than HBO Max. I like Netflix for all the reasons you guys detailed. 
but in general, I just don't use it that much. I use HBX more, HBO Max, but also like a lot of times it loads too much, but HBO has some good stuff. I'm, I, their originals are pretty good and um, they got a lot of, you know, interesting stuff. Then I put Hulu. I like their ads. So who, and then like next will be like Showtime, which. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I think the main problem is I think he's the I, think I just remembered these. it when you said it. <laughs> uh, I had that because I was doing a Twin Peaks thing and I needed to screen record footage. Like, oh. I, I watched a few movies on there, which was, you know, terrifying. Oh. You know what I just remembered? What? The DC stream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is your final? I've read it. I read it on there before. And I'm excited because it's a good one. It's Tubi. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe maybe we'll give one peg to DC. Screaming <laughs> it says Tubi. It's like the most incompetent. I've heard it. I've heard that. Is it raining outside? Yeah. Because we're talking about Tubi, which is the primary of like, ah, I don't have something, but I need something, so I'm just going to slap on Cloudy with a chance of meatballs on via Tubi, or, or Babysitters Beware, with Danny Treasure. Tra Tra Where did you pull that from? Okay. What is that? H hold on, before we, before we lay on Tubi, I don't even know what it is, you might need to actually explain it first. I don't think anybody here has ever heard of Tubi. It is, it's a free streaming service, but they Can have- you pay for it? Like to remove ads? I don't ads? think so. I've never oh. heard- Like, I think it's just automatically with ads, like, and they also have live TV. Their interface is horrible. It's just awful to use. There's always going to be that one thing we want to watch that is on one service, except for Quibi, <laughs> but it's going to be there. And you just have to like yeah. go there. Yeah, it's like well, I don't know. Yeah, it's annoying having to hunt for the thing you want to watch. But it's almost kind of interesting and fun in a way to figure out where a movie's gonna be and like how to True. find it. Yeah. Like you have to go on like a treasure hunt. Almost, almost all the Godzilla movies I like, try to find are really fun. <laughs> oh god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which I get Voodoo that was like wait, who owns Voodoo? That's like is that like I don't know. Nestle's streaming service or something? Nestle? <laughs> they make chocolate. <laughs> no, it's like a big comp the company. It's Walmart. That That's Walmart's what? streaming service. Yeah. Oftentimes when I see a Voodoo logo, I think of uh, Tubi. Yeah. They, oh, they all end with U, I, or they all end with vowels. They it's have like Fubo TV. <laughs> it's <laughs> which an actual thing. Yes. <laughs> that streaming service is cracking me up because of how funny it is. <laughs> That we have it unanimously ranked. Are you okay? The bottom of our list is two. Oh yeah, we all yeah, know that's Tuzo. the worst Tuzo. one. That's Tuzo absolutely the worst so one. Cool. Best. Oh, worst one of yeah, all time. Tuzo. Okay, what do they have? The only movies I think I've ever watched on there is from their Vern Troyer collection. They just have every yeah, Vern that's... Troyer movie ever. Oh, I didn't... Yeah, like, you can find like The Sopranos, but it's not the The Sopranos show. It's it's like a long play of like. The Sopranos <laughs> PS2. Oh yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, yeah the PS2. Famous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They also had the entire series of Max and Ruby for some reason, which I don't know why. Yeah, Shark Boy and Lava Girl is on Tuzo. Yeah. So maybe Tuzo might maybe, be the best. Yeah, maybe Tuzo is not but, so But oh bad. man, the, the interface on Tuzo. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's all by voice command. Instead of sorting movies by categories like horror or romance, they sort them by runtime. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Right. Like forty-five minute, like short films at the very beginning. In the oh, back, you get like a Star yeah. Wars. Movie. Oh no! It's the filters are like runtime, and then like you can filter between like you know shortest to longest, or like you can filter by like producer. Yeah. <laughs> or like yeah. main actor. And then like back in so the Vern like, Troyer like, thing, <laughs> they have an entire Vern Troyer filter, which just. You can find any movie that features even a small cameo of him. Yeah. And then there's also a filter made. Movies that, that are uh, the same runtime as there are letters in the word of <laughs> 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 it it the Movies filtered by the amount of words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know what they do have on um, Tuzo? They have Zodiac. Oh, yeah. That That's actually the only thing I've ever watched on there. It's like... Did you, did you ever watch that movie? Yeah, that's pretty good. 
you liked it. I what? thought you, not, you I thought you hated that movie. No, yeah, I really liked that movie. You said it was too uh, too close to real life. No. And just a movie. Well, this has been our friend cast episode. Whether uh, obviously it's all a jape. I mean, we do genuinely just like some of the stuff like Tuzo or Funimation Now or Quibi, but you know, streaming services. At the end of the day, they're all bad. This has been Friendcast Season 2, Episode 1. Oh, you know what's a great streaming service? Bodu. That's a good one. See, that's the one that Friendly Mart made. Oh. So it's great. They have yeah. all the Friendly yeah, Mart go content. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and subscribe to Bodu. <laughs> yeah. $2 a month. Yeah. yeah. You For some reason, cast. if you want to pay $2 a month to watch free YouTube videos that we made, go ahead. Yeah, by all means. Yeah.